Uh, my name is Sam. I work for Landison Gear. I've had uh, more than 12 years experience with the energy and utilities industry uh, in the Middle East. Uh, I'm currently a lead consultant for the energy metering billing uh, and the smart grid applications at Landison Gear. So today's topic is mostly about something that's close to our business and also what we see as an innovation in the metering industry. So I'd like to take you through the, uh, let's say, the history of what happened with meters and where it is today and what's, what's happening, let's say, going forward. So in terms of metering and billing, uh, as you all know, metering or meter reading is at the heart of a utilities business because you need to measure what you're delivering and metering is the most important part in terms of revenue collection and ensuring that uh, you know you are having a steady cash flow. So what are the typical utility challenges? You have consumers maybe having some outstanding debts, late payments. Uh, you could possibly have some meters that are tampered or bypassed. This is common in several parts of the world. Sometimes you don't have access to meters. The reason is it's probably inside the customer's premise or the consumer doesn't want you to read his meter. This could be a problem. Then you lead, it leads to issues like estimated bills. Nobody likes estimated bills because you can always dispute this. And then you have overloaded call centers because customers are calling and saying they have problems with their bill. They don't think they have consumed so much and this could be a challenge. So how do you implement this? Because you have to disconnect the customer. So there's a cost of sending a technician to the site to disconnect and then later to reconnect. And this is a huge problem, especially in the Middle East, because you don't really want to disconnect a customer in the middle of the summer because he's using his air conditioning, he's probably got pets in the house, children in the house, and this is, uh, this is a real challenge. So we need to find a way to work around this and give the power back to the consumer. So what are the goals that we have? We need to reduce our operating costs. So what can be done from a meter's perspective? Now we all know meters sitting in the meter room counts uh, and gives you the energy consumption. But what else can you provide onto a meter that gives the power back to the consumer and allows the utility to operate more efficiently? And this is where prepayment comes in. So any prepayment system has got several benefits and this probably is fairly logical to most of you and you would agree that if I have a prepaid system, I, I give the consumer the choice. That means he can, con he can control his consumption, he knows exactly what he's using, and when he's aware of his own consumption, he will try to limit it because no one wants to overspend or waste something. I mean, this is the educative process of the prepayment system. Uh, there was a study done uh, about a few years ago in Abu Dhabi uh, where the Regulatory Services Bureau, the RSB, conducted a study. So they took a villa, villa compound and provided let's say, uh, in-home displays for the consumers to see their consumption in real time. And they found that there was approximately a 15% reduction in the consumption of these uh, residential villas, purely because the consumer could walk through his living room and see on the wall uh, his current consumption. And he would feel that, okay, I, I, mean, I can actually switch off this appliance. I don't need to use it. And it is purely information basis. So he, he was just being told what he's using and that allowed him the choice of switching off an appliance. How many of you have this choice today in your houses or in your offices? You don't have this choice. So this is quite important and this is something that in the age of you know, the Watsons and the connected cars, what are we doing with our energy? This is quite important that we need to understand what we are consuming. I mean, you have smart watches, you have smart phones, but why aren't you able to see what you're consuming? So the benefits of prepayment, there are many. And just to break it down between social, environmental, and financial, of course, the environmental, environmental benefits are that you have self-regulation. You don't tend to waste. And the financial benefit is you don't have estimated bills and you can control your cash flow, what you're spending. So coming back to smart meters, you had the, let's say, traditional electromechanical meters which have now transitioned into smart meters. So smart meters are, let's say, electronic meters. They have a clock, so that means they keep time. So they can tell you how much you've consumed per day, per hour. This information is available. Some of these meters have a limiter, a breaker, which can disconnect 
uh, based on some logic. So if you set a load limit and the consumer has crossed this limit, it can disconnect. So this logic is available. And there is a piece of software called the head-in system, which reads the meters and, let's say, collects the data. This is traditional smart meters. This is what we have today. And a lot of utilities are moving towards this, including SIVA. Uh, they've made an investment in smart meters.